All right, recording. Yeah, I'm recording. Ready? Yep, recording. Uh, yep, recording. So, I mean, this is literally like my worst nightmare going into the season. I had expressed that to like my mom, other teammates. So I was like, I'm so scared that this is going to happen. And like when I went down, obviously like my ACL was the first thing that came to mind. And like the other day in practice, I was helping them with post moves and stuff like that. Cause like, it's hard feeling helpless. So I'm just doing every little thing that I can to actually make, it just helps me like cope with this better. I mean, wish for a better ending, but um, still there supporting my team. We're still working hard at every practice. Just gotta keep going through. I still have a chance of playing towards the end, but not 100% sure, so. Uh, it gets me very hyped and excited watching her go out and play. Um, trying to still teach her a couple things. If there's like a timeout and I say something to her and then like the next play she does it and she makes it, um, makes me proud. Leading up to this year, we were hoping to build up for to win a championship, to win everything. So it's kind of disappointing you know, I couldn't like participate in baseball, obviously. But I still wanted to like support my teammates, and I, I still believe that they could do it. I look to just like try to help the best way I can, and it, like it makes me happy when like Montgomery will come off the court and like ask me for tips or pointers, and like knowing I can help her make her a better player just feels good. Four years in the process. We thought this was going to be the year we were favored to win the conference and favored to win the group. And you have six season seniors that want nothing more than a championship and then to lose Bridget. And then Caitlin with a shoulder injury, and she'll be back. And then Morgan and then Mackenzie has just been devastating to the, to the program. You wanted to make me cry. Um, again, we for this for, you know, forever. I'm coaching Mackenzie and Shane and Morgan and Aaron and Caitlin since they're in fourth grade and instead of getting the chance to win or not win either way my last memory of my daughter is listening to her scream and falling the ground and so I feel very proud of what could have been and what should have been and so I have to accept the fact that something that was a part of our relationship for so long was taken away very very quickly and I have to listen to my own messages and I have to move on from that but as a parent and a coach, this is all very, very hard to process. And it's painful for them to watch and not be able to be out there. And I can't imagine how hard it is, but to listen to the three of them on the bench, you know, cheering for the team and, and talking them through things and more than talking to her sister and all those kind of things. We've seen their true character. And the same kind of thing, they could have given up, they could have not shown up to anything, they could have said, well, I can't play, so forget about it. But instead, they're here all the time supporting the team because they're good kids, they have great character, they were raised by great parents, and I think they're coached pretty well. Thank you, Mackenzie. All right, thank you, Morgan. We appreciate it. Yep. Thank you, Bridget. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you, Coach McDonald. We appreciate it.